This is the Versace Virtus handbag, and we are going to review this purse today. Is this purse worth the $2,000 price tag? I don't usually buy super luxury purses, but I wanted to try it out to see what it's like. Is it worth the higher price tag? Is the quality better? Will it make me happier? Is this really worth it? So let's find out to see if it is. So first impression, you can see that this is a very beautiful handbag. You have the quilted look over here. I bought this for the logo because the logo isn't just the name. It looks like an artwork itself. And it looks like it's part of the bag. And I really like that. I'm an artist and so I buy bags for the artwork. So on the back of this, you have the actual Versace. When you open up the bag, there's a lot of room in there. You have a pouch right here. You have another pouch right here, which actually has a cool NFC tag. Can you see it? There's an, N there's an NFC tag right here, which does this cool trick. So if you go to your cell phone and you go to versace.com slash authentic and you tap your bag with it, right there. And then hide my email, sign in. I got this from farfetch.com. And then it tells you whether your bag is authentic or not. I think that's a cool little way to see if your bag is real. And that's the bag. So first impression, this bag looks like it's a really cool bag. But if you take a deeper dive quality wise, I'm not really sure if this bag is worth the price tag. So we're going to look at the side and this I think is just poor quality. You can see that there's glue, like you can see the glue and this is just not even. This side is even though, but you can still see, let's zoom in on this. You can see that there's just glue coming out I've looked at different handbags, like before these handbags, I would buy luxury handbags that are at a lower price point, like from the three to $700 range. And I think at that price point, you're buying for, for style and quality. I mean, like, I think it's, it's a good price point, but you can see that the quality here is far better than the Versace one. And this is, let's just call this like the level one luxury bags. They're luxury because they're going to last you longer than bags that cost less than $100. This is definitely worth the price. I've traveled with this bag, you know, out of the country and went to airport with it and it still looks new, which is kind of, you know, surprising. Like the quality is definitely worth it. Oh yeah, this one's a Marc Jacobs bag. If you look here, this is a Ted Baker, also at the, the lower price point luxury bags. You can see that the glue and the stitching are just better quality. Okay. And then we're gonna go look at, closer look at the stitching. If you can see here, it's, it's just rough around the handle. Like the stitching is rough. You can see right there. Closer look over here. I'm not sure if this is part of the style, but it looks like when my handbags has been sitting out for too long and gets kind of dusty, so it gets this matte look, like dusty look or kind of rusted look. I'm not sure if that one is, you know, part of the design or not, but it doesn't feel new. And this is supposed to be brand new. Now we're gonna open the bag. And you can see that, 
some scratches over here, like obvious scratches. And then let's take some light over here. If you can see that there's silver pencil marks where the stitching is. It's kind of hard to see, but in person, it's really obvious. It just seems sloppy, and I had such high expectations for a luxury bag. And this is my second luxury handbag buy. And I want to show you in comparison, because this one is my first one, which is the Dolce & Gabbana. And this one met all my expectations, and I thought, wow, this is definitely worth it. All luxury handbags are definitely worth the price tag. Because let me tell you how these two bags came. Let's start with the Versace. This is the box it came with. And for a luxury handbag, I was expecting something else, like something more grand. It just came here, and then this was wrapped in this dust bag right here. Oh. It was wrapped in this dust bag. It's a regular looking dust bag. For something that expensive, they didn't really care on how to ship it. For this one, the Dolce & Gabbana, which is what I expected, it came in this fancy box. This fancy box came in another box. So there's a box outside of this. And then it came with a shipping box. So there's three layer of boxes before you can get to the handbag. When you get to the handbag, you get this dust bag right here. And even the dust bag feels really nice. It's two ply and then you get like a little foam inside. I mean, it just feels legit. And then this bag also feels a lot heavier than this bag, which you know, I expect from a luxury bag. Like I just feel like just a tad bit heavier, not too heavy, makes it feel like it's quality. All the seams are great. This one is a $3,000 bag. That one's $2,000, but I didn't expect $1,000 to be that much of a difference. Here, like, it's shiny. I guess it, this could be, again, this could be part of the sign. I've never bought a Versace bag. I'm not sure if other Versace are the same quality. This could just be a one-off, but... This Dolce & Gabbana, this really set high expectations. You can see that, you know, they paid attention to quality. The chain, you can see that there's detail on the chain. It's not just um, a regular chain. Like I've had other bags with this same chain right here that are at a lower price point. And then when you open the handbag, everything is just perfect. Like they really, this is what I expect it to be. And I want to show you something else. Like, okay, so this is Coach. You can see that everything looks nice. Everything's great. And if we're going for like handmade bags, which I think this one's handmade, and this is at that lower price point. This is Mary Frances. This is even great quality. This is great quality, and this is the price range that are $300 to $700. And these quality is even a lot better than the Versace quality. And to justify that really steep price tag, $3,000, $2,000. And I think, you know, for some, it is for the artwork. This one is definitely for the artwork and the quality. This one, both of them are kind of like status symbol. Um, if you want to show off to people uh, that you have a luxury handbag, this is definitely, you know, brands to show it off. For me, I don't buy it for the status because I don't think any of my friends care about any of these. <laughs> so uh, there's not really anybody to show it off to. I really buy it for the design for the bag and for the quality. And if it does not meet that quality, I don't think that it's... Um, it's worth it. I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think of luxury handbags. Are they better quality bags? Um, do they look a lot better? Are they better designed? Are they going to last longer? So for the Versace bag, I am definitely underwhelmed. 
it's not what I expected and maybe again this is just a one-off bag that just didn't pass the quality check but it definitely didn't leave a good impression especially how it came in how it was presented and how things how rough this bag looks for being brand new and authentic a little fun fact and a little shove off time far fetch where i got the bag and this video is not sponsored i got these bags as a gift for myself and for my mom a while back i was actually in their book look at this that's me pictures of me they um sent me clothes and did a photo shoot and right before my story which is kind of cool there's will i am from black eyed peas that's really cool